everybody, this is Grace, and in this video, I'm going to give an update about that whole little saga that happened to me that I never really finished because, let me tell you, I can make several videos in like going out like 45 minutes an hour, you know, make short videos on whatever topic, and then putting them up one day at a time seems like it really stretches it out, and I'm usually over it, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or making more, you know, making a few videos today, making a few to more tomorrow. Usually I'm over whatever it is, or that something else has already start, you know, came up. You know, because, you know, as some of you know, I live in what I call narcissism built. I didn't give it the reputation. I had it when I first heard about it, like around 30 years ago or so. So I wasn't the one that gave it to, you know, gave it that reputation at all. Anyway, I never did finish, to tell, you know, talking about it as it was. But anyway, since some of you might not know what I'm talking about, um, I guess it was like a month or so ago, I went to a pharmacy to get my medication. I was in the drive-thru. I'd been dealing with this pharmacy. It was five days, but not five consecutive days. And because they, keep, they kept messing up, okay, on my prescription and stuff like that. They were supposed to order the right one. All these different things were going on. And when I went to pick it up, they, there was a young man there, and, you know, young tech, you know, tech. And I said, what is, you know, it, it was wrong, of course. That's what they did. That's what they always did. And I, I asked him, I said, well, can you check and see if this pop-up is there and what it says on the pop-up? He said, yes, ma'am. And the pop-up was there. I said, um, can you make it bigger for them? Maybe they can't see it. He said, yes, I do believe I can. So he's doing that. But one of the, and I wasn't, I'm telling you, if, if I were, you know, like a bit stern as I can be, I would tell you I was stern. <laughs> you know? Believe me. Yeah, I can be brutally honest. I know some people say, oh. But anyway, yeah. I, in this situation, I was calm as a cucumber, you know. No, uh they weren't going to get me riled. Well, whenever, I guess the uh, pharmacy tech, you know, she... Something had happened. I started. I got the medication, but I left because they filled it for 90 days. It was supposed to be for 30 days, and you, they usually just don't read that pop-up that says 30 days. And um, I went around the corner and I realized it was the wrong manufacturer too. So I came back in the drive-through and the um, and told him, you know, to the young man, he was the one there, and I told him that look, you know, it's also. The wrong manufacturer I want the right manufacturer and uh well the this big big like oh man Hulk woman she that was at the tech there she came and started yelling at me okay the, now the, this can go on but the, then the, the um, pharmacist she started yelling at me you know they're th thinking that at customers they can yell at when they screw up they can yell at the customer and I did call their uh, corporate office. Corporate office wasn't doing anything about it at the time. It would have to go through the district manager. And it could be days. <laughs> oh my goodness, you know. I, I'm glad I got a bunch of it on video. I put it up on, on a um, channel that I don't use for anything. And uh, But it says my real name and my date of birth, so I'm not doxing myself. You know, unless, of course, it would get, get worse you know, some pharmacist, and basically she had my money, I mean, my, yeah, well, at one point it was my money, the other point it was that she had my prescriptions, you know, and, oh, just a big mess, so they wound up, um, I wound up telling, you know, no, you put it back on, and I'm going to another, and I did go to another location, now there's all kinds of reasons why that, um, I could, you know, I say I could change chains, you know, chain of uh, they're all owned by a corporation. Everything around here is owned, pretty much, almost everything is owned by a corporation. Whatever corporation, you know. So, I knew, I've known the score for many years. So, I just had them transferred back to the one I was using before uh, that one. And when I walked in there um, to get my medic medication, they knew who I was. And they were very, very nice and very, very sweet. And Adam and I just went and picked up my next one. I mean, this, this, uh, this refill, and this, a couple of days ago, I guess, and, uh, when I walked up, they said my name, and said, you know, 
um, a greeting. And Adam says, how do they know your name? <laughs> how do they know who you are? So given all the crap they put me through last time, yeah, and that's how I see it. Now this is a big, big, you know, big area, very busy. Places usually don't remember you. Like I went, he and I went to somewhere the other day, and I, yeah, a pizza place, and I made an order, and I went back to get it, and ten, not not even ten minutes later, you know, they said it'd be ten minutes, and uh, I think it was ten minutes, and the guy said, "Did you order it online?" I said, "I, I ordered it from you." I don't remember you. <laughs> so, you know, you're like, well, yeah. Because they don't, they, they have so many people, they don't remember anybody. Whew, a lot of exhaust from that car over there. The mini man, uh, yeah, SUV. Whew, yeah. Feeling, I gotta get away from it. Yeah, get this really happened. So, anyway. Um, so, ooh, man, it made bad in here. Okay, I had to go open up my windows to get rid of the exhaust before I fainted from exhaust fumes. My goodness. Anyway, that really happened. Real life that sometimes happens. So, so some of you, like I said, have uh, watched those, vid those videos about this. They're numbered. I think it's um, nine, nine of them. And uh, you know what happened after that was when I got home, um, not long after that, I think it was the same day yeah I think so and uh, there was somebody sitting at the end of my driveway or maybe it was the next day um, sitting at the end of my driveway in their car and as soon as I opened up nobody should be sitting there. there's no reason for anybody to be and uh, I opened up the door and I looked and this person was staring at me they weren't parked they were like on the road and they took off now if anybody if anybody from the neighborhood they wouldn't would know better than to do that because there's a curb right there and that can be very dangerous. So, yeah. Then later on that day, um, Adam wanted to celebrate something that happened at work. We went to our one of the hole in the wall kind of restaurants that we like. There are very few that aren't owned by corporations. And this was one of them. And we went there, and there was a guy, there was a customer, made me think of somebody who'd be in Willie Nelson's van that would not stop staring at me. I turned it off for the school zone. But yeah, um, and the, I mean, the whole time we were there, say at least 45 minutes, I would think, how long do you spend in a restaurant if you're celebrating, and, or just a restaurant to eat, any time, maybe 30, 45 minutes. We were not in any hurry, hour, maybe more. And uh, he just sat there and stared at me across the restaurant. I mean, did not, he, he'd stop every once in a while and write something down. And, uh, but no, and that's where the, the wait staff would come up. So whenever they did, I could see that this guy was still sitting there staring at me. It was creepy, very creepy. The whole rest of that scene, that one, it was creepy. Um, and weird thing, basically weird things kept happening from there, including like like getting local phone up, local phone calls on my cell phone. Which if I don't know who it is, I'm not answering. And if it's anybody who need who knows me. Needs, knows that I'm going to do that, and if they need some kind of assistance, they leave, leave a message, you know. Yeah, they know that. Adam knows that. Everybody, anybody knows that. So, like if they're using somebody else's cell phone or a store phone or whatever, leave a message. But they would call, um, call me from, it's a, like a local number, like I said, and hang up, then call back right then, hang up, you know, let it ring until right before it come, goes to voicemail call back again and they kept doing that um, then maybe pause a little bit that's jaywalking mister and then they pause a little bit and um, call back again so by that time that the first time that it happened I was in another room like I was busy in another room so whenever they call back that that next time I was there and I just blocked them I, I can block people from calling me on my phone everybody can not everybody's phone can do that but I, I have one that I can. Anyway, th those kinds of things continue to happen. Um, and I do know that they were getting rid, Adam was telling me about this, that he had heard they're getting rid of those robocalls or whatever. He calls them robocalls. I don't know what they're called. And so the, the, they had some kind of date that it was going to be ending. So the, some of those places were calling. But no, these, these were people, I, I got those two. I got, got 
those two. <laughs> and, and it was, uh, you know, over time, and especially right whenever he after he told me that, it was like crazy. But no, these were local phone numbers. And I had mentioned one in one video before about getting calls like that, and I thought it was Adam, and I made the mistake of not saying, well, hey, you know, Adam knows to leave a message, you know, or, or he knows how to call me on another phone. So it was some guy, you know, I thought it was Adam, and I called the number back, you know, after they kept doing that, and I said, uh, it was a guy that answered, I said, why are you calling me, and who's calling me, or, you know, something like that, and he said, no, you're calling me, and he went all off, and I just, you know, you know, hit the button and blocked them. <laughs> Block is such a great feature, isn't it? Seriously, a great feature on phone, on internet, yeah, any social media, yeah. I think it was within all that I, I mentioned that, you know, I've got to find a solution to this problem. Um, you know, like I said, I live in Narcissismville, and I know that if I travel outside of it, that whole area, um, you know, it's not, it wasn't as bad in the past. And what would happen if I tried that instead? You know, it's, instead of going like five miles, I'd go ten miles, you know, one way. And, uh, you know, see how much different it you know would be well Adam was on vacation for the holidays uh, he had 18 days I think he took off for it and uh, we, we went out there and t it was 10 miles to the, the nearest one world of difference but then you know things we started we went to several places out there including a restaurant that we never even heard of before but um, you know, no problem, no problem in any of these places, everybody, you know, it was the holidays, it could have been that everybody's wanting to keep their job, or whatever difference, you know, Adam was with me, safety in numbers, they don't have a wit, they don't want a witness, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, many things it could have been. It could have been, just as I said, you know, go outside of that, you know, that zone, and it would be different. And of course, you know, over those, ho over the holidays, we didn't go out there every time, we, you know, would go here, but I would have, would have Adam go with me world of difference just like I said these these kind of narcissistic people they don't want witnesses you know, some don't care but some you know these abusive types they don't want wit a witness or any witnesses you know it's your word against theirs and they can say oh well these are this she's one of those you know those customers that think she's always right yeah that's a bunch of BS I don't want to hear that ever from anybody again really in case you're wondering why I said that there's some idea, somebody left me a comment on one of my videos I did, I don't know how long ago. And you know how it is, if somebody's going to leave you a comment on an old video and they know that your uh, uh, comments are approved, yeah, they're, they're looking to troll. And they think, <laughs> you know, they think that once you approve one of them that they, all of theirs will be approved, maybe it was, or even if they comment on that one, then, then their comment on that one. Uh, will be approved and no that's not the case anymore just FYI and uh, yeah mister you're going the wrong way and you're pulling out in front of me really see all kinds of real life happening <laughs> was, yeah pulled out in front of me and and they were going in the wrong direction yeah can see all kinds of real life yay huh but uh <clears throat> anyway what was I what was I talking about yeah, with Adam with me, like I said, I got him to go with me to, to get my uh, my prescription the next time. And I did actually video the conversation I had on the phone. I videoed the phone with using my cell phone and had it on speaker just in case they tried something. And yes, of course, they tried something. And with Adam with me, they got the woman, the pharmacist got quite embarrassed. Now, it wasn't the pharmacist that went off on me. It was the pharmacist that kept making mistakes. And the reason I transferred to the other one. <laughs> okay. So I transferred back to that one. But no. She's very polite. And that's when he had asked me. You know. How do they know you? Well. Let's figure that one out. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Um, anyway. So. Of course. Going with Adam. Safety and numbers kind of thing. You know. So I don't know. I really don't know. Um, except for there's one store that I went to. And the. It, that's a long story, but basically the same kind of thing because I was by myself, you know, and I'm by myself right now. We'll see how that goes. But anyway, I wanted to start doing more vlog-like videos, and I had made one. I don't know what I did. It was one of my stream of consciousness. I actually called that, and it was about 
um, I don't even remember what it was about, but for some reason, I don't know if I accidentally deleted it or what happened to it. And I had, and I mentioned it, and I looked back, and I'd only made five that I actually called in the title, Stream of Consciousness Videos, you know, Go With The Flow, whatever it is. Because I'm really kind of getting kind of tired of this, con this, um, this uh, topic, you know, just doing, just doing this topic. I'm always going to probably do things on this topic. But yeah, like, you know, Adam says, why is it every time you make a video, this other person, you know, other person does the same topic? Yeah, I'm not the only one who knows. So, anyway, I'm wrapping this up. If you want to subscribe to this channel, click the circle. If you're watching another video on this channel, click one of the rectangles. Like, subscribe, comment, and share on your own social media if you would. And I'll talk to you on another video.